Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Polybridge. I'm Nye. We are working on... Uh, what is this? This is the 12 meter simple bridge where we have what appears to be a station wagon uh, behind a smaller car. And, uh... I don't know. Try to decide how, how I want to approach some of these because they don't always seem to be... You know, obvious with how they do things. Um... And I don't think this is... Okay, it's just a little bit too far, really. I don't think this is really arch material. I think something like... Maybe that. You know? Do something like this, because, you know, I really... I'm trying to use this grid in the background here. Okay, let's try something like that. This is a really... Oh, don't want that. This is a really inelegant looking bridge, but it doesn't work at all, so... Um, and everybody in the station wagon dies. Okay, so that didn't work. Okay, well, how about we do it like this, then? You know, it would really help if the... Uh, if the bridge was, like, mildly symmetrical, right? Okay, so let's try this. We'll do this. And we'll get rid of that. How's that look? Oh, that looks sturdy. That looks steady as a rock. Would you look at the complete and total lack of stress we're seeing there? Okay. So I'm already really low uh, on the budget, which... You know, the material footprint doesn't seem particularly hard to stay low on. Uh, max joint stress, yeah... Uh, we have a little bit more stress than the average. Uh, looks like uh, most people are sitting at this 55.7 to 61.8 round. Um, but we're really low on budget, which I really appreciate. Uh, I think I'm going to do what I have been doing. And we're going to try to go a little bit lower on the budget. I want things to be a little more symmetrical than that. Is that symmetrical? Hmm. We'll try for that. Okay, so no stress for the small car. And actually, this seems even more rock solid than the, bit, than the uh, previous one was. All of a sudden, bam, 4,000s. I think we can do a little better, though. Okay, let's just see exactly how far we can push this. I'm loving this bridge design, by the way. This is... Oh, okay. We're seeing a lot more stress out on these lower limbs over here to the lower left. But that worked just fine. That launched me up into the 2000s. And I'm pretty happy with the 2000s, I'll be honest. Can we do better? Okay. those It's those outer limbs that are probably going to be the biggest problem for us. I'm seeing some pretty heavy strain over here. I'm amazed that that did not break. Sitting with 98.7% joint stress. And, you know, we're fighting for we're fighting for pennies right now. Top 15 got to 2,000. How did, how did they get up to... How did they do that? That That's amazing to me. Okay, we can't stretch that anymore. Let's see what happens if I bring this stuff up. Because the this is where the joint stress is right now. It's not on the center bit right now. Okay, now it is, and everything breaks. Okay. Um, hey, he made it to the rock. Okay. So here's the question. How much... We can't worry that. You're 2400 right now, and this is obviously not going to stay together. So how are they sitting at the barest minimum, is what I want to know. Let's just... Out of curiosity. Does that even hold? No, because you need to have support beams, right. Okay. Does that hold? No, because there's nothing supporting it. Okay, so you got you got you gotta kinda do this. And that's what I'd already come to in the first place, though this is not nearly as good as the one that I originally did. Um See this we're already up there. I mean it's just kind of like you know, yeah, this works, but it's not as easy or elegant as mine was. 
Let's be honest, I had a really good bridge. Yeah, I don't know how the hell these guys that we're looking at got these tiny, like, that's, that's 300. How do you get 300? Okay, can we delete that and that? That's the question. Okay, the middle is really sagging. Nope, the road just doesn't have enough support. Okay, well, okay, here's the other question. What if I do that and that? And we get rid... Oh, not... No. We get rid of that. It's lopsided. What's gonna happen when the cars crash? Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay. Well. That's pretty okay. Like, that's really kind of the best we're gonna be able to get, I think. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Kind of low joint stress, extraordinarily low budget. Um, joint stress could be lower. Let's we'll admit the joint stress could be lower, and just no material footprint at all. Okay, so now it wants a slanted bridge. So we're going uphill apparently. So let's go ahead and turn our tracing tool. We're gonna do that. We're gonna change the shape to be straight, and we're going to fill. Okay, um, I think all we're going to do is we're going to go for a shallow curve up top here, and we're going to fill that with wood, I think. Yep, and let's just do some gentle nonsense like that. Let's see how that looks. That's going to break. Oh my god, it's going to break. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. How about if we support from the bottom instead? Uh, turn off the tracing tool, thank you. I mean, we're gonna need... We're pro let's, let's face it, we're probably gonna need triangles. But, yeah, just a little bit too much. Okay. How about that? A little bit too much weight on the left-hand side, that's fine. Okay, how about instead of doing it like that, we do it like that. Still, it, it's this joint that's the problem. Okay, um... Okay, tracing tool back. I can't help but feel... that we need... I can't help but feel this is how we need to do this. That's too far away, really? If you say so. Yeah, it's that center that's going to be the problem there. Um, okay, well, let's pull that down just a tad. And then we'll put in one more crossbeam. Yes? Perfect. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I'm already at the very low end of budgets in the 2000s. Max joint stress was huge, though. Um, so we barely made that. Okay, so here's the thing. Can we... Like, this is probably a really bad idea, considering how bad the max joint stress was just now. This doesn't, this doesn't look right. Let's try that. I'm seeing huge stress over the arch here. Yeah. Yep, that's not gonna happen. Okay, let's just hit the hit the spots that are heavy. Okay. Yep, uh, we're not quite making. Okay, so this is gonna be the problem area right here. Yeah, that was just about the perfect arch that we had, apparently. Man, it was like, it was perfect. That was exactly what we needed. I wonder. And the reason I wonder is that this, this is obviously, this is the way the van is going. So I wonder if we do it like that, does that, yeah. Look, all that I changed was the cross bracings, right? Okay, so since that's the way the van is going, can we now mess with that? 
Because you saw how little stress we had. Okay. Somehow by changing over here, that affected over here by a lot. So that's the maximum that can do. Could give that a little bit of extra bracing, but, you know. Alternatively, we just expand that out again and we accept what we have. Very high stress. We wouldn't be able to get a second car up there, but it doesn't matter. Made it up to under the 2000s, and I'm, I'll accept that. Next level. Oh, a two-part bridge. Okay, well, I think it's going to wait for next time. Thanks for joining me, guys. That was a lot of fun. We're seeing some weird stuff, and things like things are just going to keep on getting weirder. But thankfully, we're still we're succeeding. That's the good thing. I'll see you soon.